see. Friends. Friends, please have a seat, everybody. You're very kind. Now, uh, uh, Lewis uh, yes. and, and all my friends over there, uh, tonight we've got uh, two fascinating uh, guests. A gentleman we haven't spoken to in, in, in a while here, but I always enjoy Jason Siegel is going to be out here. <laughs> yeah. He's got the new TV show, uh, Shrinking, yeah. with Harrison Ford. Isn't yeah. that right? Isn't that with Harrison Ford? And then, uh, and then uh, I mean, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, legend, uh, Chuck D is going to be out here in just a little bit. So drop some knowledge for us. Drop it. Get off some knowledge, get some science. All right. Folks, uh, there's news from the world of candy, the only part of trail mix I actually eat. <laughs> you might remember uh, last year when M&M's redesigned their female green spokes candy, changing her go-go boots to sensible sneakers. And Fox News host Tucker Carlson was outraged about no longer being turned on. M&M's will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous. Until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. <laughs> Nothing weird about that. <laughs> Who hasn't thought about taking their candy out for drinks and then, if things go right, maybe a little action over the peanut under the candy shell? <laughs> and that was just his take on the footwear. When the newest Spokes candy debuted, he described it as a plus-sized, obese purple M&M. First of all, she's not obese. She is with nut. OK? Show some respect. Recently, in honor of International Women's Day, M&M's launched a new limited edition pack that includes only purple, brown, and green, the candy's trio of female characters, who are upside down on the package to celebrate women everywhere who are flipping the status quo. Now, to some, some people like that. Some people like that a lot. To others, this kind of performative corporate feminism might seem shallow and condescending, but still others seem to think it's the end of the world. Specifically, Fox News, who freaked out about M&M's getting too woke. Just wait till they find out one of the ingredients is critical race theory. <laughs> and it's true. That's true. Wow. wow. It's right below carnauba wax. <laughs> Following all this controversy, yesterday M&M's released a statement saying that they've decided to take an indefinite pause from the spokes candies. Now. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, great, now where will I get my fix of anthropomorphic candy orbs with slightly different personality traits? Well, <laughs> don't you worry, because another candy company is now wading into this cultural minefield. Jim? Susan B. Anthony, Frida Kahlo, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Mike and Ike? That's right, the candy you settle for when they're out of Skittles got progressive as hell. Mike and Ike now have our own female candies. Meet Sheila and Doreen. Ah! That's right, we're here. Deal with it. I taste like tropical fruit, but I also run a successful landscaping company in Akron, Ohio. Then I'm not just brown, I'm a tenured professor at Brown. We're sick of lady candies being two-dimensional. It's always the smart one, the sexy one, the shy one. Yeah, we're complex. I hit a deer once in college. At least I think it was a deer. I didn't look back. Oh, God, I didn't look back. That's right. We made Sheila and Doreen uncomfortably complicated. Um, feminism much? She's recently widowed, and I'm casually sleeping with two Twizzlers. I'm also a mom. Guess where the baby came out of? I only have one hole. Everyone knows Mike and Ike's are a combo of fruity and chewy, making them fruit chewy. But we're changing the flavor status quo. I'm kiwi. And I'm beef. And together we're creepy. That's not good. We probably should have read that out loud first. But if you're concerned they're too woke, don't worry, because we also decided... Don't you dare give us boobs. ...to give them boobs. No, no, no. Why? So when you want high fructose corn syrup that's been gendered female to seem vaguely empowering but is still weirdly sexualized, reach for a box of Sheila and Doreen's. Queefy! Queefy! Available wherever Mike and Ike's are found, so probably in an abandoned gas station. Queefy. We'll be right back with Jason Siegel. 